Hi, my name is Susan Mingle. I'm a clinical nurse educator with Med One Group. Today, we'd like to thank the Adventist University in Midwest, Puerto Rico, for allowing us to videotape the PCA entitled Integration Capability. They were kind enough to let us utilize their facility so that we could show you live what it looks like when the PCA and entitled actually communicate with one another. The patient gets into respiratory issues and it actually will pause the PCA programming. If you want any more additional information on just the PCA module itself, we do have a separate video that you can access via YouTube. Thank you so much for your time. Hope you enjoy our video. So we'll power up the system so that there's connectivity with the PCA, the entitled, and the PCU. Yes, this is a new patient. We're going to use the critical care profile so those library of drugs come to the forefront. I'll channel select my PCA, turn my key to program, confirm that that's the correct time of day, look for all syringes. I'm going to choose BD because that's the manufacturer I have loaded in there. And we're going to use morphine for this purpose and we're going to use acute pain. This is just tighter guardrails limits for acute, uh, broader guardrails limits for a chronic person. And we're going to use one to one. Then I'm going to follow the next button to confirm that. And then we have reviewed our PCA and pause protocol limits, which means if the patient were to dip below the settings we have in the end title, the actual device will alarm and stop the medication from going to the patient. And the dose request button also will become disabled. So I'm going to press confirm. And this order is PCA dose plus continuous. We're going to do a dose of one, a lockout of 10, a continuous dose of 0.5. We're not going to do a max or a load on this order. We're going to press confirm, close and lock the door, press start, and then our patient will display what we call a capnograph so that we can watch their respiratory and their CO2 rates as the narcotic is on board and there's a dose available. So I'm going to go ahead and push that. And now we can watch our capnograph as our patient receives the medication. And we'll enter so we can retain that screen to watch that capnograph. So we're going to take, tell the patient to take a big deep breath so they can come out of that alarm. Now we're in a pause protocol. The patient did not come up enough and recover enough because it dipped below the settings that were set in the end title module. So at this point, we're coming in the room, stimulating the patient, probably turning up the oxygen and making a phone call to the physician to let them know that the patient had dipped below the settings and a pause protocol had occurred. So we're gonna encourage them to take deep breaths because we wanna get that respiratory rate back up. But the phone call to the physician has warranted a change in the order for me to come in and change to a dose only PCA, no more continuous. So I'll do that by channel selecting the PCA, pressing the program button, turning my key to the program position and changing the mode of delivery to the dose only of the one every 10 minutes. And then I'll comp press confirm, close and lock that door, press start. And then it looks like our patient is, is good. Respiratory rates up and the light is green. So we'll just continue to monitor the patient.